Hey guys, it's Tish. Wow, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and giving me a chance. Those of you that watched my first video and commented, you warm my heart. Thank you so much for the love and encouragement. I truly appreciate you. God bless. Now, with that said, I feel like I need to tell you the story about my name, the channel name. And I had been advised by some other people that had channels that I probably want to get my full name off of my channel uh, if I'm going to be producing more videos. And I understood that. And so with that, I started to really uh, analyze and you know, think out the think out of some think of some names, excuse me, and I just prayed and prayed and prayed and before you know, after a couple days it was really stressing me out and I was praying, Lord, please, I need to change this name. It's important and I really want to get this, you know, this going uh quickly and just, you know, guide me in that direction, Lord. And it was it was really stressing me out, but that's kind of how I am. I'm a little bit of an analytical mind, and so I, I'll, I'll take it to the limit and then some. And some of you might understand how what that feels like. So anyway, the night before I had decided what the name was going to be, I had, you know, eight or ten names picked out and um, trying to get one that fit us. And so, before I went to sleep that night, I prayed the Lord, Oh, go, Lord, I'm stressing, and this can't be that hard. And I kid you not, guys, I heard the Lord answer me, and He says, Well, bless your heart. You can't find a name for your channel, and that's the biggest thing you're going to stress about. And when the Lord talks to you, Sometimes he has a little bit of a punch in your gut, you know, a wake up, so to speak. And those of you who know what bless your heart means in the South, there's two meanings. Uh, the first one is, oh, honey, you know, I'm so sorry you went through that. And it's of concern and compassion. Bless your heart. I'm so sorry you're, you're struggling. And then the other one, the other meaning of bless your heart is, oh my, she's missing some marbles up there. Bless her heart. You know, so those of you <laughs> who know those meanings, and if you had heard the Lord's voice when he was speaking back to me, trust me, he wasn't speaking with compassion. He was a little irritated at me because bless your heart. That's the least of your worries right now is your channel name. So I had to. I just, I had to. It was a, a message from God, and so I got it. And that is going to be my reminder, my constant reminder, where my prayers and my thoughts need to be. Those stressful times when... Maybe I take something a little bit too too hard, or yes, I'm praying about it, but it's the least of my worries, and most likely the least of God's worries at the time. There's a lot more going on in our world than my little problem. So my homestead that is now called Bless Your Heart Homestead is going to have those two meanings. But the one meaning that's always going to stick in my heart is the one that God gave me is, Girl, don't stress the small stuff. Bless your little heart. Aren't you so stressed? So, to me, it's a personal thing. But those of you that understand it and they have had messages from God, you will understand it too. So I wanted to share that with you and you kind of get a little piece of me and, and my faith and how I converse with, with our Lord sometimes because you talk to him like you talk to your best friend. You talk to him, you know, and he, he'll speak back, I promise. But anyway, guys, I am real excited about my next video and I'll hit on that really uh, small 
uh, because I want to move on. I know you guys do too. So uh, thank you for listening to me. The next video is going to be based on some of, of my medical skills, but we're going to go down the holistic trail. We're going to talk about apothecary gardening. We're going to do medicinal gardening. And I have uh, compiled a, a list of 11 herbs that you can start with, and we're going to condense it down for those who live in maybe smaller homes, apartments, so that you can have that at your fingertips in your own home. So I'm real excited to get that started, and uh, because I want to get them in the ground, you know, and get the area done, because I'm doing a whole new area in the yard, and I'm going to make it big, and then... Uh, the second thing was on that video that I'm going to be doing is a few of us out there have been talking about a seed exchange in the prepping community or the homestead community because I really truly believe those communities go hand in hand. They can learn from each other truly. And so a, a few of us t talked about that, but I think that would be a really cool thing to do. Uh, some of us like myself, you know, I have... Uh, fourth and fifth generation seats, you know, that have been passed down in my family and in my husband's family. So that would be really something that I would be, I would love to share. And I think it was, uh, I just met her on Dangerous Freedoms channel. Uh, do it, uh, do it, do crafts with Nikki or something. I'm so sorry, Nikki, but I will get that channel out there and I'm going to uh, leave that in the description. And she gardens as well and has these phenomenal tomatoes that have a, a lot to do with prepping. Like it's, it's really, it's, it's really good. Sorry about that. Um, but anyway, with that said, I'm real excited about the new video. Be looking for that. And I love you. God bless you. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.